Hello everyone. This is going to be the first of a whole series of videos that are designed to help students with their IB Geography Internal Assessment. Now, uh, the title that I normally use is marked in green, but this can apply to any Geography Internal Assessment. It's up to you. Before we start, it's important to point out that the Geography Internal Assessment can contribute to quite a significant t amount of your IB final result. For standard level students, it counts for 25% of their examination, and for higher level students, it counts for 20% of your examination. And providing you follow this uh, course, you should be able to achieve good grades in your IB internal assessment. Now, uh, the document I'm using is one that I've got published on my website. You can download a copy of it. I'll provide a link for you to access it. But basically, if you follow this guide, you should also be able to do quite well. Now we can see first of all that uh, the Geography Internal Assessment is marked on seven different criteria. Criteria A, B, C, D, E, F and G. And it counts for a total of 30 marks. Simply put, you have to ensure that you have an introduction, a method, you have to have a graph that has been properly, properly processed, which is criteria C. You need to analyze those graphs and to discuss your findings, which is a criteria D. You have to come to a conclusion. You have to then evaluate the results that you've got, and you also have to meet the various formal requirements, which are uh, number of words, presentation, page numbers, and things like that. Uh, please look at the following videos for further instructions. We'll be starting with looking at your introduction, criteria A. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.